Hi, I am Dr. Srinivas Murthy TM, a consultant ENT surgeon at Columbia Asia Referral Hospital, Ashwantpur. Cochlear implants uh, are specialized electronic equipment. They are also called as miracle ears because they tend to restore uh, one special sense which a human being doesn't have. Now, we are talking about uh, people who do not have any hearing at all. That means, despite using the best of hearing aids, both the ears for scheduled time of say between three to six months, if a person not appreciated any amount of hearing improvement, then we recommend that this person will be benefited by using a cochlear implant. Now for that, uh, we will have to again uh, evaluate uh, the age group of the patient and find out what is the cause for the hearing loss and then see whether a cochlear implant will actually benefit the patient or not. So who are typically patients who will benefit from cochlear implants? Uh, the best uh, candidates are people who already have established speech, that means adults. Let us say an adult has meets with a mishap or had a, has an accident or has an illness which has led him to him or her to have lost hearing in both the ears which is not getting benefited from hearing aid then this person would ideally be the best person to do well with a cochlear implant so these candidates are called as postlingual candidates that means somebody who has already acquired speech now the other end of the spectrum are children who have not yet developed any speech now children who are born with uh, hearing uh, disabilities or hearing impairment are usually picked up on screening in universal hearing screening programs or during their developmental years the parents notice that the child is not responding to certain sounds and then they are uh, worried whether the child is hearing well or not. These children are then evaluated to find out what is their grade of hearing loss. Now once we know the grade of hearing loss they are usually given a three to six months uh, trial with hearing aids and then we see whether the child improves with constant and rigorous speech therapy associated with hearing aid devices. If there is no uh, appreciable improvement, then this child will be uh, evaluated for uh, candidacy for cochlear implants. This would then require us to confirm that the inner ear is developed well, the nerve of hearing has developed well and the entire brain is also developed well. So that would require us to do f further testing with respect to uh, CT scans and MRIs and uh, other assessments before we can confirm a child's candidacy for cochlear implants. Ideally, a child should be implanted as early as possible and not later than 5 years of age to have the best results with cochlear implants.